Hello football fans and welcome to today's game of the week special paying the number three team in the land in the southern Alabama state hyenas going on the road to play against the coastal Alabama waves both teams are 4-0 so far in this inaugural season and both teams also in the top five it should be one heck of a game of the week that we are in store for for today's game so if you are super excited for that make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you do happen to be brand new to the channel as we'll jump into some game action between the southern alabama state hyenas and the coastal alabama waves let's get this game underway so with all that being said it is time to get this game officially underway between the hyenas of southern alabama state and the waves of coastal alabama a top 10 matchup that should be a very good one as Southern Alabama State will start with the football actually they're going to try to scramble out of the pocket Odom opting to slide down probably a pretty smart move for him as Ferd and Shore coming up very dangerous position Coastal Alabama could get some major momentum going in their way here at home getting this free and out that would be very good as Odom will go over the middle gets Barrett and gets a huge First down, a huge gain on third down that will help deflate this crowd. One of the bigger home field advantages in college football that we are experiencing here today with this Coastal Alabama fan base. As now we got second and five, gonna grow Sesha who gets lit up like a Christmas tree. Barely gets a chance to have the football before getting brought down immediately. And now another third down for these hyenas. And it's an even more unlikely situation. Third and nine. Odom dropping back. He's got time to make himself a sandwich. Going to scramble out of the pocket though. Didn't see what he liked up field and could not pick up the yardage. For the first down. And it gives the football back to the Coastal Alabama Waves who will have their very first possession of this ball game. Let's we'll see if they do with it. Going to try to throw over the middle to, Kra to Kinslaw. Who gets a huge first down, but let's see what the flag is on. It's actually a roughing the passer, but ultimately will not matter, though. As it was still a huge completion anyways. So third and short coming up after that catch to the left-hand side to Coward. DD Coward to be exact. Third and one coming up, though, and there's an offsides penalty. Who's it on? It's on Southern Alabama State. So an automatic first down for the Waves. As Crouch looking to scramble. No, he's going to throw across his body. Although he probably should have ran it. If he would have ran it, he would have had himself a touchdown potentially. But instead, it's third and seven. We'll see what this Coastal Alabama quarterback decides to do. Third and seven. Going to Gray. Who takes a shot and he is down. Way before the first down marker. Coastal Alabama having to settle for a field goal. So only three to nothing so far. Kind of expected something like this considering we are in the Super South Conference. They are of course known for their defense for the most part. And there's a huge throw up field that is incomplete. Now here we go. Third and seven. Crouch needs to make a play here. Let's see if he can get it done. Crouch dropping back. Has some time in the pocket. Going to try to scramble. No, he's going to throw to the left hand side now. Finds Roth. Roth IRA making the catch for the first down. And keeps the Coastal Alabama drive going. Been on Coastal Alabama so far. Southern Alabama State only with one first down as they try to go upfield. That's incomplete as well. And so now a couple plays later, third and six now coming up for the Waves. Let's see if they can get their second third down conversion of this drive. Crowd's going to try to scramble, but he's hit immediately. Did not have the time whatsoever to get out of the pocket. And so now Southern Alabama State is going to go ahead and take control of the football. Goes to Alabama, of course, having to punt away. It's now second and ten coming up. Odom having throw it deep. He's got school. School with a huge catch in the red zone now for the Hyenas. For the very first time today, let's see if Southern Alabama uses this chance to take the lead for the very first time today in what could turn into a very defensive slugfest, really, for the Hyenas. 
and the waves as well. Assessa does pick up the first down as well. First and goal is coming up, and after a couple of failed run plays, we now have a third and goal. Let's see if Coastal Alabama can get the goal line stand. Odom going to hand it off to Sesha, and they do. Stuffing the line of scrimmage, winning at that line of scrimmage as well. And so Southern Alabama State going to have to settle for a field goal here to try to tie this thing up at three apiece as they somehow missed that. And that's how the first quarter is going to end. Southern Alabama State should have had some points on the board, but that did not happen. Coastal Alabama holding on to a 3 to nothing lead. So we will pick up to about midway through this second quarter as there's been plenty of free and outs between these two squads. Like I said, no surprises here. Very defensive battle so far in this ball game. Let's see if the offense can get something going as Odom is able to break some tackles and gets across midfield for a huge play. That is the first first down of this entire second quarter. We're already halfway through as now they are going backwards once again. Taking a huge quarterback sack, so that's going to bring him down a notch. It's now second and 14. Odom going to fake the throw. Going to pump fake it and then go scramble and pick up some extra yardage. But still with Ferdinand Wong not really trying to stall out if you're the Hyenas right now. Let's we'll see if they can get her done right here, right now. Odom ready for the snap. Going to drop back the pass. He's got a very clean pocket to work with. He's going to chuck this thing downfield. He's got a man. He's got Helinski for the touchdown. And Southern Alabama State is going to seize control of the lead. And it is now 7-3 here. But Coastal Alabama is still taking over, though. Three and a half minutes left in the second quarter. As they're going to truck it down the right-hand side as well. Gets it to Gore, who spins away from a defender, but only picks up a few yards nonetheless, though. It's now third and six coming up. Got the boys at the line of scrimmage once again. Ready to get this next snap. Got to pick up this first down. Going to Gray. They're going to run it. And Gray is able to find the running room needed to pick up the first down with ease. First down for the Waves. And they're looking to get a more Cyan Wave in the on the scoreboard. As they are finding themselves down for the very first time. We'll see how Coastal Alabama can respond though as they're still only... Two minutes left here in this first half. Gray going to break a bunch of tackles. Actually, you know, two to three tackles before he's eventually brought down. As Coastal Alabama takes their second time out before we get into this third and one. Would not be surprised if they try to run it once again. And they do run it once again. But Southern Alabama State knew it was coming. They were ready for it. And they got the stop needed. As that is how we go in the halftime. Silver Alabama State is leading the Coastal Alabama Waves by a score of 7 to 3. Second half coming. So, welcome back to the second half of this ACSA primetime action between the Southern Alabama State Hyenas and the number four team in the nation in the Coastal Alabama Waves. As Coastal Alabama will actually start with the football to begin this second half of play. As now we got a second and one. Crouch is going to go ahead and keep it on the quarterback draw. Crouch with plenty of room to work with. Already up on the 40-yard line before being brought down. It'll be really good for Coastal Alabama to get into the end zone on this drive. Just to get something more positive going. Because the offense, for the most part, has been most stagnant. But the defense has kept him in this ball game so far. So it's time for this offense to really step up right now. As Coward gets thrown around like a ragdoll, actually, but still picks up six yards, though. As they're going to go to the fullback, actually, and Leotuna. And somehow ended up picking up the first down. Looked a little close, but they choose not to review. As now, first and ten. Crouch over the middle. Going to try to throw it over the middle of this football field. It's incomplete again. And Coast Alabama facing another third and long that they're going to have to deal with. Crouch in the shotgun. Expect for him to throw it. Going to drop back the pass. Has some time, but is facing pressure. Has to throw it before he's comfortable with it. And so now we are here. You know, still only a 7 to 3 lead. But something could, could go down, and that could be the something that could go down. Can they finally separate these two teams? But that, of course, did not happen. Southern Alabama State later going free and out. So the waves. 
Greeley dodged a serious bullet there. It could have been a two-possession game for Southern Alabama State. They were actually able to move the football, but it was not the case. And now Coastal Alabama still has it, and it's only a 7-3 game right now. Can one of these offenses please get going, though? It has been very tough to watch in this ball game for sure. It's now second and two now. Crouch dropping back. Got time. Going to scramble out of the pocket. He's got some space to work with, and he's going to be brought down across the 45-yard line. Waves working it right now. Going to try to do it again. Going to be more crouch action. Getting another first down for Coastal Alabama. As now, a couple plays later, second and 12 coming up. Crouch dropping back in the pocket. This time actually going to throw the football, and it's going to be complete this time around to Hamilton. As the waves will be right back, essentially in the red zone. And now here we go, first and 10 again, going to the left-hand side. Got a man, finds Coward for the first down. And now a goal line situation coming up for the Waves. Can they finally get their first lead of this game? And they do! Kinslaw in the end zone. Touchdown, Coastal Alabama. And they're on top of that, also going for the two-point conversion. It's not necessary, by the way, but that conversion is good. And so Coastal Alabama with the two-point conversion takes an 11-7 lead in what's been a very defensive battle, but we finally see a touchdown from the Coastal Alabama offense. And the defense is still playing really well, too. They did get a free and out. Is now second and 10. Crouch dropping back. Going to chuck this thing deep. He's got a man. He's got rough. He breaks the tackle, too, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Coastal Alabama. And just in a blink of an eye, as we go into the final quarter of football, Coastal Alabama now maintains a two-possession lead, leading the Southern Alabama State Hyenas 18-7. As look at this, they were able to force another free and out. So Coastal Alabama again with the football. Crouch going to the right-hand side. Gets it to Gray, who does get across the first down marker. A first down for the Waves. As Coastal Alabama looks to put an early dagger in the Hyenas. But look at this. There's a fumble on the play. The Hyenas jump all over it. But again, despite another turnover forced by Southern Alabama State, they go free and out on the ensuing possession. They don't do anything with it. As now Crouch is just running for his life to avoid the safety. Is able to at least do that. As now second and four coming up. Crouch dropping back gonna try have to throw it doesn't like what he sees but is able to at least avoid the safety for now have to watch where he is at this moment we got a third and four coming up crouch in the shotgun gonna drop back the pass gonna throw it over the left hand side gets it to Hamilton who does get an easy first down so you have to imagine that it feels good to be out of the shadow of your own goal line as now the Coastal Alabama going to be coming back at it again with the white vans. As Kinslow able to spin away from a defender for a good 8-yard gain. As Coastal Alabama back on the 30-yard line. Maybe one of those things where they can get a long drive going. Could be a game ender as that could have been a huge play for this offense. But it was dropped. The pass was dropped for an incompletion. And now instead it's third and two. Crouch going to try to run out for the first down. He is successful and is able to move the chains once again. And that clock is also starting to become a factor as well. Less than six minutes left in this ball game. As Crouch going to have to scramble for his life. But this time could not get away successfully. A six yard loss for Tim Crouch. He's going to throw to the right hand side again. It's dropped as well, but it was a very dangerous throw as well. So now third and 16 once again. Crouch going to try to pick up another huge first down to potentially ice this game, but instead Southern Alabama brings the heat. And now Southern Alabama will see what they can do. They have less than five minutes left, but it's still only a two possession game <coughs> as Odom. Dropping back, gonna chuck this one deep! 
He's got Asante for the first down for Southern Alabama State. As they get to the line quickly, the clock is ticking. Odom going to throw it to the left-hand side, tries to get the crossing route, but it's incomplete. Now we'll try again. Third and ten coming up. Going to get ready to go here. Odom dropping back. Going to scramble. He's got some running space to work with, but he's short of the marker. They're going to have to settle for a field goal, but that still kind of helps them, though. A play, you know, an eight-point game still as it's down to a one-possession ball game. So Coast Alabama could potentially win this thing. You know, got to watch out for how they manage the clock here. So, the same thing with Southern Alabama State if they opt to use their timeouts or not. As Crouch does end up picking up another first down. That could end it depending on how the rest of this quarter goes. As it's now down to 240 and counting. Getting it to Roth who gets across midfield easily as well as picking up the first down. Surprise they're just not opting to go and pick up some, you know, just uh, end this game. Just end it for these guys. They are done. They look like they are done. As first and then, 151 left. Going to gray now. Going to run it for a modest six-yard gain. But that goes for, you know, able to keep this clock moving. As it looks like Coastal Alabama is going to be able to get the job done. The late points that were scored by Southern Alabama State, they still will fall to Coastal Alabama by a final score of 21-10. Coastal Alabama, of course, still remaining undefeated, now improving to 5-0 here in the inaugural season, whereas Southern Alabama State does take its first loss of the year, and it's no shame in it losing to a top-5 squad. This is their first loss. They now fall to 4-1. Now, there is a one more primetime game on Friday, but before that, there is a triple header planned for you guys, so look to tune in for those free games dropping tomorrow at this time at 6 p.m. Eastern. In the meantime, though, if you have enjoyed today's ACSA primetime game, then do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you did happen to be brand new to the channel. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.